searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. Cincinnati is looking at a potential shortfall of more than $90 million in 2021 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Leaders are now looking at everything from across the board budget cuts to eliminating vacant positions, offering early retirement, and putting police and fire recruitment classes on hold. But Mayor Cranley says something like bankruptcy is not on the table. Starting today, drive through coronavirus testing begins in Hamilton County. Kroger is partnering with the city of Cincinnati and the city's rec commission to make this happen. There is an online form to fill out to find out if you're eligible for this free test on WCPO.com. The testing goes from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Dunham Recreation Center. Testing will happen there tomorrow as well. Jennifer. Today we are kicking things off with a cloudy sky, some isolated showers, and you'll notice a little bit cooler air out there. Temperatures have dipped into the mid-40s in some towns and will barely build back up to the low 50s. And if you're not a fan of these cooler days, yeah, you might want to grab a coat before you head out the door today. Off and on rain chances are in as well all day long, but it's minor. I mean, we have some small chances out there this morning. It's isolated through the lunch hour, still isolated in the afternoon. The better potential today may actually be later on this evening as we start to get the last little bit of the system passing through the Ohio Valley. Tonight's temperature also drops just one more time. This time to the low 40s with a mostly cloudy sky as showers start to fade. Warm weekend, though, is ahead.